envy and fierceness not messing around in this one. He went out and got that lead and didn't look back in this one till it was pretty much over. 47 and 2 in the opening half. Um, fierceness controlled the pace in this one. Catalytic was up there with him. Um, Ladom Bro was in there for a little while. Uh, the four horse was uh, hanging around Grand Mo the first. Uh, but it was pretty much fierceness all the way through this one. He picked up the pace a little, um, 111 and 1, uh, finished the race in 148 and 1, uh, eased him up at the end of it. One going away, uh, probably 8 to 10 lengths, I'd say. Second place was the 7 horse, um, 7 catalytic, yes, uh, Seven catalytic hunting hung in there. I think it was around 25 to 1, probably for a pretty decent exacta. Um, that was um, uh, Julian Le Perot on the uh, getting the second place finish there. Number nine ended up coming in third, Conquest Warrior. Like I said, I think he's um, going to get used to riding with these better horses. I think we will see a little bit more Conquest Warrior uh, later in his career. Uh, coming up fourth was the four, Grand Mo the first, hung in there. Uh, the second favorite, Hades, in there for fifth. Um, so he's out of the money big as well as Con Conquest Warrior. Um in there running third so it is fierceness going away pretty sure he's going to be the derby favorite in this one as big as he got this win uh unless the winner of this arkansas derby coming up here in about 30 minutes is bigger so we'll look out for that